desk. We're calling the meeting to order at 5.16 on uh, Wednesday, July 19th. And uh, present, we have George Forsier, Russell French, Lee Whitcomb, and Laurie Lucier. <laughs> Reviewing the minutes. Seems the same as yep. all online. Yep. Okay. Yep. My only little thing would be to make habitat. Let me talk about the Habitat House, capital H, because that's the name of the group that owns it. <laughs> I know. Becky mm -hmm. own. Yeah. Habitat for Humanities. Actually. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Move to accept. Move to accept as written. Do I have a second? Second. Any questions or discussion? Well, let's vote. All in favor? Aye. 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 Three. Are you unanimous? In that. Okay. That takes care of that. Let's see. New mail and invoices. We have several. Ah, the Franklin County Registry of Deeds bills us once a year. Well, what? Well, um, they only bill for the surveys. They bill us one dollar a page for the surveys that they send, the big copies. So once a year, we get a bill for less than ten dollars, mm. and this year it's six. So. <laughs> uh, Let's see, I move to accept the bill from the Registry of Deeds, the annual bill, the amount of $6, and to pay it. Okay. Second, any discussion or questions? Again, what is it for? Surveys. When you say surveys, you don't mean someone going out in the field? No, it's, it's, what, it's the paper that is created from that, the paper survey. For what? That gets property. recorded. For property. For property, for, for real estate. For when a AP's surveyor property. goes out, yes. yep, they create a paper drawing mm -hmm. and that gets recorded at the registry right. you and could just open the drawer and show them what that's true is. and every time they, they a, a surveyor records a, a survey at the registry in conway yep it we costs get a, us a nickel or something a, a dollar a dollar yes so that's, that's, all, that's all that we're done was six yeah which yeah. presumably includes one that was done for me mm -hmm. um yeah okay yeah so yes we automatically receive a copy of that yeah we used to receive copies of all the, uh, no, we didn't receive copies of the deeds years so, ago. So theoretically, or most likely, that represents half a dozen new house locks that yes. people created. In yes, or new parcels, right, right. Okay. Or an easement, or anything that needed to be surveyed and, and registered. And yes, and then. Uh, because some people might survey their property just to establish what's where. That happens too. Yeah. yeah. Okay. They can be done for any number of reasons. And yeah. the surveyor has to report that when he registers it with them. Yeah, so they have to go to the planning board first. The surveyor or the landowner takes the survey to the planning board. Well, that's if it's a, a, if they create a new, a new parcel, right. Yeah. And they have to sign off on that. I mean, I don't remember doing that. I'm, I just had mine resurveyed. No, you wouldn't have had to do that. But unless you asked them to re-register it with the, you know, the county. If there was any changes or errors or something that they found that would have changed your property lines, then that would have probably needed to be reported. Yeah. Okay, so half a dozen pro mm -hmm. property surveys that were registered mm -hmm. deliberately. Yes. Okay. Yep. Yep. Ready to vote? Aye. Okay, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, all three, thank you. I will sign the front page and we'll initial the second page. Um, you were like initial? Our initial on the second page. Oh, there. Like yeah. Okay, and then the second set of bills 
All right, one of them is from Cartographic. Uh, it's the quarterly portion of. Oh, yeah, yeah. The quarterly portion of our um, map maintenance contract. Mm -hmm. um, and also the full amount for our annual um, GIS site support. Yeah, they spun the. Um, provide the background for, for that. They do any changes to it. They host the site. So one bill is for the generic hosting. One is for the, the one, right. One is for the hosting, and the other is for changes to our paper maps. What was it that we voted on last week? Those were module maintenance. That was yeah, module maintenance. Okay. Yeah. Module maintenance is there's different modules that they have that we have gotten from them that do different things, extra things. Mm -hmm. Software modules. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Software uh, things. Yes. Right. Right. And then we have a um, an item for a check to the postmaster to pick up some stamps. We have the um, chapter <laughs> mailings going yep. out. Laurie has them all ready to go. I have them ready to go. You owe me stamps now. That's right. <laughs> yes. And so we have three hundred and thirty dollars to buy stamps. And that will buy five rolls. Yeah, buy five rolls. Physical stamps? Just, yes, physical just stamps. Just to be put in individual envelopes? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we don't have a stamping machine. Yeah. yeah. That's very cost inhibited. Yeah. For a small office. So I move that we vote to accept and pay these two bills. Okay. okay. Any questions? It's not asked them ahead of time. Okay. <laughs> Out of turn. Oh, gee. <laughs> Let's see. So okay. to say, ready to vote? Um, Thank you. <laughs> I say, I say, aye. Aye. Okay. Thank you. There. Mm -hmm. Hmm. The cover you sheet can't skip, you can't the skip the next treasurer. Yes, to the treasurer and uh, accountant. You can't skip the next books. one that hasn't been done annually. <laughs> yep, that's fine. I hear you sighing. No, no. <laughs> I meant to do it last time, last meeting. I know. And I presume these um this maintenance, these maintenance bills were all known about ahead of time. Yes. Was nothing unusual about them. Right. It was budgeted, et cetera. Mm -hmm. I try and contact all of our providers uh, in December, which is when we're having to submit our budget anticipated budget. budget. Mm -hmm. And that's difficult sometimes. It works out. Yes. Next on the agenda is reorganization, which means uh, voting for officers. <laughs> our chair and chairman of the board, our chairman of the, who's going to serve as chair for the next year. So, George just did this. Pardon? You just did this. Yes, board. yes. Well, not yet. No, oh. tomorrow night. Oh, ah, gotcha. tomorrow night, the planning board also will be reorganizing. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, your thoughts. My thoughts. Would you like the job? Well, I'm the newbie, so I'm not going to stand up for it. <laughs> do we do we want to go with? And sorry, I know I'm not on the board, but do you want to go with the the standard rule of thumb that it, it's not a rule rule, but mm -hmm. it, it's a practice that the member in their final year of their term serves as chair. That way, it, it gets alternated on a regular basis. Oh, someone whose term is expiring. Right. So the person yep. in their third year would serve, and mm -hmm. then the you know the following year when you reorganize, whoever's in their third year would serve. And but I think Lee's been the chair for a long well, time. How long have you been chair? Has that rotated? 
No, it has not. Doing it forever. No, because no, the guys never wanted to. Uh, okay. <laughs> well, I would step up, except I'm I barely yeah. know how my way to the mm, office. Good. So, so that leaves Russ. That leaves me. What do you think? I, you know, I'll, I'll, if you want to go on that rotational system, I mean, uh, don't look at me. It's up to you. Next well, I'm just putting it out there. Well, for you. well our, the board of selectmen do that. Yes. Correct. Uh -huh. Who else does it? Well, not the planning board, apparently. Uh -huh. um, <laughs> I'm not sure who else does yeah. it. I'm right. In, in my experience I don't around know. the county, some boards just settle in on one person who's mm -hmm. good at it and likes to do it. Others rotate it in some fashion. Yep. Um, there's no real set. Yeah, it's system. not a rule. It's however mm -hmm. each board is comfortable. All right. All right. So, I mean, we know it doesn't happen with the historical commission. They've had the same. <laughs> I mean, in some respects, it's probably awkward time. for you to be both the chair of the board and the the uh, hired hand, if you will. Um, I've learned to separate the two. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I've learned to separate the two. Uh, it did take a little thinking at the in the beginning, but it's been twenty years now, and mm. yeah. Well, how long have you been sure? Ah, uh, round numbers. Probably most all of that. Really? Wow. Most of that. Lee yeah. Cotton was chair for a while. I don't like my father. No, he didn't want to be. No. So after Lee retired. Actually, that'd be 07. He retired in 07. So 15 years. Uh, yeah. I assume that that regardless who was chair, you as as the administrative uh -huh. uh, assessor would still organize the material and so mm -hmm. right? It would yeah. be largely Except a meeting. Largely conducting the meeting and mm -hmm. throwing people out and telling mm -hmm. me I'm out of line, that sort of thing. No, that would be up to the chair. Yeah, yeah, that's the chair. That, yeah, that the would, chair that's would what conduct the meeting and yeah. throw people out. That's my point. You yeah. Would, yeah. Okay. Whereas a lot of the administrative work between the two of you, that would get done. Oh, yes. So we wouldn't be adding an administrative for no. no, no, that would still appear as a finished product here at a meeting, pretty much with a nice handy pile. It's all organized. Really? Okay. Nice Who's in their last no, term? Don't, don't, no, 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 fine. I I'm, can't think on this. I was just term. putting it no. on. <laughs> not me. Who's in their last term? Russ. I was just putting it out there. I'm in the last. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, I'm in yeah the you're last up for re-election. Yeah. I think. Yep. Yep. Okay, good. I think Russ is almost volunteering, so I'll, I'll move that uh, to nominate Russ to be chair. <laughs> I second. <laughs> All right, <thank> you. <laughs> any any further discussion or questions? And, well, I'm gonna try. I don't know. Sure. I can I can read. On the paper. Yeah. yeah. I have a question though. When would that start after this meeting or would it start like in 10 seconds? <laughs> Want to start next meeting? Oh, I, I <laughs> you started. Go ahead. All right. <laughs> you can start next meeting. And Laurie always has the agenda online anyway. You could look at it ahead of time if you wanted to. Yeah. Okay. Shall we vote? All in favor. Uh, did we get us? Did you second? I did. You did. Okay. I'm in favor. I'm in favor. All right. I'm in favor of other people doing more work. I have a feeling that Russ will be our new chair. Russ is going to be hiding around the corner when I leave tonight and <laughs> hit me over the head with a bat. <laughs> no, I don't let him. <laughs> All right. All right. How, how much extra mail does it involve in my mailbox? Or all the mail comes. I open all the mail. You open no. all the mail. Okay. That's, yeah. no. that's great. No I, papers. Sounds like really you just have to keep us in line. Yes, that's it. Yeah. At meetings, that sounds <laughs> unless something comes up. I mean, if, if there is some kind of citizen complaint or citizen, you know, well, or, or, you know, then we would phone you. Right. Yep. And, and the um, invoices, mm -hmm. that's the right word, the yes. cover sheets. Yes. You'd be signing those instead of yes. doing it. Yes. Right? That's right. Um, mm -hmm. Well, <laughs> he could, as the chair, he, he could sign them. Yes. Yes. Well, I sh probably should have. I think that's the protocol. Yeah. The chair of department head signs. Yes. And then we have initial sort of. Right. Thing. Yeah. Unless right. you're the Board of Health and they've passed right. authorization. If you've gone to. Board you've, of Health has passed authorization over to me to sign them. So they. Right. They don't sit. If for you two had weeks, to be away. Right out. You could authorize somebody else to sign them. Yep. yep. For that period. So. Okay. Starting next meeting. You get the chair with the arms on it. Okay. I'll get a second.
Is that the August chair? Second. This is August the second. a chair. <laughs> August second. Uh, yeah. Oh okay. yeah. I, I'm just looking. I will be gone. Let's see. For the sixth of September, I will be back for the twentieth. Mm -hmm. Okay, she just won't have a meeting on the sixth. Mm -hmm. Do we want to establish a protocol now that says when the new chair is not available that that you would would become the uh, the chair pro tem? Mm, that's fine. Probably a good idea to think about it ahead of time. Well, we can think about it maybe next week or next meeting. Yeah. We can decide. Yeah. Just, if it's automatic, then there's less confusion. On that's the right. Russ is somewhere. And that is going to be the period when we're working on finishing up the recap. So um, there'll be signatures and stuff. But as long as the majority of the board is available to sign, right. we're good. I mean, we worked about a three yeah, or two yeah. for quite a while. Yes, we did. Yes, we did. Okay. So that's all set then. Yes. There are no other officers I'm that sorry. we have to um, elect. No. It's a planning board, for example, have a chair and a clerk. Mm -hmm. a vice chair but a clerk mm -hmm. no one knows what the clerk does exactly but, <laughs> uh, probably a little scary <laughs> no we have our clerk and she does a fabulous job of keeping us in order we have two new sales <laughs> i'm this, sorry who does a fabulous job at what i said you do a fabulous job oh well thank you yes much appreciated yes there are two sales that's ken roberts way out the end of east guinea road and that one is on North Poland Road. Um, be the second of the last on the left. It used to be Herb Dratfield's in-laws house. I don't know if you were acquainted with them at all. I know the name, but you yeah, know the yeah, he served on a number of committees. Nice family, just moved in. Yeah, young. <laughs> did she? Did they have children? You know, or? oh, wonderful. One is. Going to Conway, uh -huh. and the other is going to be doing preschool in Ashland. Super. This doesn't bode very well for us. <laughs> no. Well, I don't know about that one, but this one sure right. does. No, that one keeps us right down there in the bad figures. That one is not a valid sale for um, comparison purposes because it's a multi parcel. They own three parcels of land mm -hmm. one with the house and two others that they had purchased uh, abutting pieces to keep them from being developed or anything like that because they're adjacent to the Poland Brook Wildlife Management. Mm -hmm. And so the uh, Radcliffe's felt very strongly about that and bought the land up. And but why is it not at non length sale? Because it has several parcels. That's, that's and all each one is individually valued. And so the state says, we're not going to get into that. And so it's a, it's a, Categorized as a V, which is multi parcel sale. Hmm. Yeah. And for that reason, it's it's, it's sort of bumped out of the yes, bumped out of the calculations. Whereas this one's oh. right in the middle of them. Hmm. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Interestingly, that sold to a fellow who has owned land here in town for quite a while. He's in Delaware, and he bought a piece of land on um, Main Poland Road. Probably 12 years ago or so, just as had it in chapter 61, but likes Conway. And now I think he's probably retirement age. And maybe going to be moving up here. Who knows? Really nice guy. Huh. So they actually got more than the list they're asking. asking. Mm -hmm. That implies competition. <laughs> yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Or someone walking in and falling in love with it and saying, I know others are going to fall in love with it too. Therefore, I'm going in high right, right. to start with. I know a, br a broker who recommends that policy. She says the way things are going these days, if you want it, you have to go in and start high and bring, get prepared to stay there. Really want it. Uh, yeah. Yes, please. Yep. Um, nothing new on the market. 
but there, the uh, Tynan house, which was Stephen Worth's house on the McCorring Road, mm -hmm. is under uh, um, contract. It says contingent on it. So that leaves just the Sumner house on the market right now. And there's okay. just one house currently on the market. That we know of. Yeah. There's some land for sale by Tonga and some Sheldon Charles. Yes, we saw that when we were out for our site visits. Yes. Yeah. Well, I thought we had a really good good day last week getting around to the different places. And well, it wasn't raining. Yeah, it wasn't raining. And, and you got to see a lot of differences. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. And it was terrific. We saw one place that hadn't been finished yet and um, quite, a, quite a good variety. And also, I think, pretty well caught up with all of our July ones. So I'd like to get back onto the regular cyclical visits. Um, again, we're... Did, did we, can I ask a question? Of course. Did we do any edits to the property cards for Not the yet. ones that you visited? Not yet. No. And so... Um, No, I have put one of them in. I was having trouble with one of the houses because, oh, would you take a minute sometime and send those photographs in? I used your camera, your phone to take photographs. Oh, right, right. Yep, yep. Just forward them in if you can. Yeah. You don't have to do it now. No, Anytime is good. How many in. houses did you guys do last week? Five. Plus, we looked at a couple of other things. We stopped and looked at that piece of land up on Sheldon Falls Road. We went to, let's see, last week we did the Habitat, but that was on Wednesday. On Thursday, we did Rogers and Rosito and Wormser and Drinker. Nothing was happening with the farm over there. We were going right. to stop there. Right. Nothing they hadn't there. started they hadn't anything. They hadn't started anything that we could see. Right. And Meyer, yeah. So just five properties? Mm hmm. Thank you. Well, I looked at several others that, you know, had put in permits for things, but they aren't doing them yet. And I did talk to Dan Alden up on Jones Corner Road, the camp way up high. And he said, no, no work yet. No progress. Where do you want me to send those pictures? Uh, can you send them to assessors at conwayma.gov? Mm -hmm. Yes, please. That'd be great. Now is one day of the week, if we were to go out, say at three o'clock again, is one day of the week. Where are we? Where are we? Oh, well, that's right. Sorry. Right. That's first. You're right. You can make a good chair. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Uh, here we are. Yep, I already looked through them. There we go. <laughs> what are these? These are the, the current permits that have been out in the last two weeks. Yep. How many are there? That's seven or so. Mm -hmm. So the keywords are where? Oh, uh, it depends on the type of permit. I always <laughs> look down the bottom. There first. we go. Oh, yeah. Yep. PDs. 17 kilowatts. Unrun installation services. Mm -hmm. Not heard of those guys. Uh, we see them some. They've they're the ones that park. sit outside Home Depot <laughs> yeah. with a little tent in the parking oh, yeah. lot. And and yeah. And there's presumably a dollar amount on here. It's probably on the back. Probably side. on the back on that permit. Oh, if it's okay. There we are. Estimated cost. Yep. You'll only find it on the building permits. The electrical and plumbing don't put a cost on it. Hmm. Check around. Cool. Yeah, it's an above ground pool. That's going to be a big deck. The sketches weren't very user friendly. That's why there's not them printed and attached. They Ryan weren't. Had, um, Ryan's. Ryan's. Uh, mm -hmm. That's probably the exterior dimension, and it may have a, you know, a center cut out to fit around the pool or something. I don't know. It didn't look like they were going around the whole pool. Mm hmm. That's just my not, neighbor. Not by the drawing. Nope. It just looked like a deck. Right. A typical. A buffer on pool deck. Yep. 
Yeah. 18 pounds. Mm -hmm. Or does that include the pool? No, the pool was separate. Just the deck, apparently. Just the deck. Yeah, probably using trick or something of the sort. That's the house that burned. Yes, I believe they used part of the foundation area for mm -hmm. the pool. And are we sure it's in the background? I thought so. I'll double check. Building in. It sounds like it, yes. I know. She certainly sounded like she was looking forward to that. Meter stockers. We're just talking about the meters on the on the house. Mm -hmm. We should still have some new listings this year without any more trouble. Okay, well. How do more new listings? The market used to be April, May, June. Everything came on the market. But I think in the summer, you know, if you expect to sell in the fall, that's not unreasonable. I think people move whenever they feel like it. I know it, unless there are children to get enrolled in school. I still think and that still doesn't whenever they feel like it. matter a whole lot, yeah. Yep. Yep. So, um, yes, question of site visits. Is one afternoon better than a, another? Generally speaking, in my life, mm -hmm. no. Okay. I'll get planning board on Thursday nights. Mm -hmm. for this, obviously. Yeah. Um, Historical Society tends to be Monday nights. Mm -hmm. That's my daytime hours are not locked into anything at this point okay yes i know mondays that mondays are not good right at all right uh, thursdays because... probably except tomorrow yeah great show mm. mm -hmm. thursday friday and saturday out in New yeah York. okay well um i'd like to set up some more site visits and so I can try and do it for next Thursday. That would be the 27th. When do we need to discuss, when do we discuss the ones that we did? Um, we can do them now. I'll get the papers. I've done some of it. Mr. <laughs> Chairman? You got everything under control. Me? Oh, for post the, wedding ring? For the wedding? Everything. Well, it was last Saturday. Oh, it was last Saturday. Yeah, okay. and it all, the, the rains, the sky parted and the sun came out. And it's, that's all I really, it was out of my control. So that was nice. And yes, it went off well. And, and uh, I've just now sort of gotten the household back <laughs> to normal, more or less. Well, I keep finding items that someone has left. Uh, behind. Good. Yeah, worked that well. Good. Yeah. Considering, well, Sunday morning, we were supposed to have people over for a, a kind of a brunch thing. Um, and it was raining like the Dickens. Mm -hmm. So happily, it was a small enough group. It was just a subset of the overall wedding parties. So it was only, it was kind of like aggressive dinner at on Baptist Hill at my house, and yes, yeah, just fill the downstairs with people, and, and so that worked out well too. <laughs> Couldn't have asked for a better, better deal. Great. Yeah, we never needed the extra parking. It turned out I underestimate how many vehicles a hundred people would would be taking. There's a lot of them. Yeah, they were renting cars and double and tripled up, and so it was just cars kind of around yeah. around Baptist Hill. 
Well, plus those they get at least weren't called in. <laughs> yeah. uh, that's a good sign. Hey, who runs to the transfer station today? Well, that's not bad. <laughs> yeah, well, actually, three. Well, two runs to the station, and then I have to make another run to the redemption center mm -hmm. to deal with all the beverage cans. Sure. <laughs> It sounded like it was going to be a private event up the hill. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So they probably didn't have a huge crowd. No. no we saw the, you know, the, the plan yeah. drive up on Friday and yeah. saw a few of them come and go over the course of the weekend, mm -hmm. but I think they pretty much stayed up. up. That's the whole point of that, mm -hmm. that expansion, right? They oh, yes. To house all of the that, kids that's and the it. grandkids. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. And they have that beautiful barn for events. And... Yeah. So it's... Yeah. Yeah. But uh, okay, the first one we went to on to see the addition. And I did run up the figures on it. Um, oh. That was reached good shortly, right? Mm -hmm. There we go. There's, yeah, there's the plan for it. And when something is being added to a house and it's, a, it's in an unfinished state, I have to figure out what portion of the entire area the new part is and how finished it is. And then you get a weighted figure mm -hmm. for the total um, uh, value. So this is 902 square feet new between the two stories here, uh, giving them a total of 3,268. Uh, so 902 is 27.6% of that. And I felt, according to our list, it uh, calculated out at 70% complete and or 30% incomplete. So the over that gives a factor of incomplete overall to uh, 50%. My question is, does this meet the increase of 50% 50%. for 50% of the value is, is what my question is. I'm not quite sure yet. I don't think it will. It's going to be close. If it doesn't hit the 50% mark, then we can't assess it. We can't pick up the new growth now. Right. Right. So it can't be a supplemental assessment. Yeah. Of course, the new house up in Shirkshire, we have that one. Right. Uh, so we have not We don't make a decision on this one then? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm sorry. Um, okay, this is the one up on... Up in Shirkshire. So, that was considered okay. the final visit for the Shirkshire house. This yeah. living there, basically, right? I assume they have a certificate. Certificate of occupancy goes to the planning board, or the or board of health. Uh, the the, the building inspector is the one who actually issues it.
That's right, they just put in the grass. That's how new it was. Hope it survived that last storm. Yeah, but this is when the program was giving me a pit. Um, essentially, the house was coming out. House comes out at about three hundred and ninety thousand. <laughs> now that was we have to determine the grade. Okay. I put in a good, a very good grade. Is this in your house? Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Brand new. When what what was completed? There was was there anything there January first? No. Well, yes. Um, there was foundation. Right? Yes, and they they had they had the foundation in, and that really the house was built basically since January first. Yes, pretty um, much, I think. Yep, yep. Pretty quick, isn't it? They don't Sounds take good. long anymore. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was a local builder too, so uh, on the spot, so to speak. <laughs> and I have. Um, uh, we pump AC, oil, fuel, uh, warm air circulation, excellent condition. And that's something we've discussed, you know, whether it should be excellent, very good, whatever. Um, the fit part of the finished base, basement is semi-finished. I only put as fair because it's just sheetrock with tape. But it is sheet rock, it is insulated. Right. Um, one fireplace. So the overall presumptions that I put in just as working ideas, not as finished, you know, conclusions, because that's what we have to do together, um, are good to very good for the grade and excellent for the condition. And that comes out to three ninety two hundred the house, and pay the garage and calculate again. So, what are the categories for grade? Uh, we can go anywhere from poor to excellent. Okay. Yeah. So I presume it's good, very good, excellent. Yes. Nothing in between there. Yes. Yeah. We can do a. Sometimes in a couple of places they offer us an interim one, whereas it's good to very good. But then they don't necessarily offer an average to good. It's one of the little finicky things of the program. And it also will not let us print a 2024 card yet until I've turned all of the 2023 figures over, which we don't do until after the bills go out. In October. Yeah, so I can't put the new card with the new calculations on it. Seems That's a very frustrating aspect of this program. That's one of them. You know, the notes I had made were it's all done except the gutters, um, mahogany porch floor, soapstone counters in the kitchen, um, maple kitchen, maple custom cabinets in the kitchen, uh, ceramic tile backsplash. What's that? Oh, red oak, three quarter inch red oak flooring throughout, nine foot ceilings, uh, four fixture bath with a tile floor, uh, one and a half baths down, and laundry room. Um, yeah, this air, hot air system, ceramic tile flooring in the entry, um, garage area, entry from the garage, two bedrooms and a full bath up, the basement concrete floors, well, sheetrock and tape, uh, but the ceiling was open. Joyce, um, a ream, um, electric uh, horse tire air heat pump AC system, Mitsubishi added, a 10 by 12 stone patio, 
party board, exterior siding, and asphalt roofing. Yep. Now we looked some of the details there and in the woodwork and that type of thing. It wasn't extraordinary, but it was good, I thought. Um, nicely pieced and so you put it in as good to very the good grade. yes so all the, the factors you were just discussing are the are elements that go into determining the grade yes so it wasn't this house wasn't it? yes okay. yep. you, you didn't shoot the interior though it looks like I didn't it's the outside right just the outside oh right yes she was on the porch when we pulled her mm-hmm mm-hmm Yep. So yes, those are the elements. I mean, the design, it's basically a rectangular footprint with the bump out sunroom. It has the inset porch and it has the unusual configuration of the second floor being much so much smaller right. than this, the first floor. The spit. So yes. The gable up there. Yes. Yep. This is the floor plan? Yes. Mm -hmm. So the question is whether it's good or very good. It's somewhere in that range. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very open inside, which is the popular style today. Um, and here's where they had switched the half bath and the laundry area. Remember you looked in and it was a laundry and the system was up on the wall and the half baths over here now, but that was the only change she said and we saw that. Yeah. The, uh, well, I'm gonna to defer to you guys because you have a better sense of continuity in terms of you know, what's mm -hmm. considered good and what's considered very good. Mm -hmm. I thought the upstairs bath was a bit small, but tight but it's only a guest bath. Um, I think I, I consider it very good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm inclined to go with that as well. I mean, the materials were good, were above, well above average. We don't have anything in between. It's good or very good or excellent. Right? Well, we can do a good, very good. We do have that category. <laughs> yeah, there's a there's a category for something in between good and very good. Yes, but not between the other. Standards. Not always. Oh. It's weird. <laughs> All right, I believe would be very good then. Well, if we have more basis on which to judge these things, I'll, I'll certainly go with what you guys think. Okay. Makes sense. Okay. And that brought it up to what? Three? 390 for the house. Mm -hmm. I'll have the final thing and everything. Building, what was the building permit for? Uh, apartment was. Five twenty. Five twenty. So if we add the garage into that, and I don't have the patio in it yet, and uh, the one extra system will be in the high fours. Yep, I agree with the very good. I'll proceed with that and have it. Ready to look at the final figures at our next meeting. All right. Can no. I, hmm? that, that after looking at this, that sounds 390 sounds low. Yeah. That's just the house. That's not the land, though. Oh, okay. All right. Or the garage. Right. Or the garage. Or the garage. All right. Well, so, we've agreed the condition was excellent, which makes sense given the brain spanking right, new and it was right. well done. Yes. Yep. yep. So we'll leave that. 
we'll bring that back to look at in a couple of years and may take a stop by and see if it's still in excellent condition. Hmm. Um, and let's see. Hey, Dill Hill. Dill Hill? Yes. Well, what's the real name of it? <laughs> Owen Wormser. <laughs> what's not the street? Oh, Shelburne Falls River. Thank you. Okay, sorry. Yeah. <clears throat> He has stonework to finish. Uh, house or addition? This is the finish of the house, yeah. So I do. Yeah. Plus, he's built a carport, but I don't think the carport was built according to what he submitted. Um, and I'll look at the photos on that because what he submitted was basically a little rectangle with a one slanted roof. And I seem to remember a unusual roof configuration there. Which building is this? Uh, this was the one that was three stories and all the, deck, all the open. And all the open. Yep, and the beautiful stonework. Do I have those photos in here? I don't should. Think so. mm. well, maybe That's maybe. the first one, the addition. Did you, oh, this might be in. Yeah. Yes, that's the house. So where what did we have it completed for as of and that's the January first? Well, that's right. There was a carport, and then there was also a little uh, outbuilding. Right, I got that in. Okay, it is basically a rectangle. He just split the roof. Yeah, he split the roof into two planes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I can use this basic dimensions and all. I mean, I guess I'm back to the same question. Do we meet the 50% thing here? Yes. As of, because what did he has a, as of the first of the year? What did we, what did we have it as? I thought we had it. With 50, no, you're right. 60 or 70% complete. You're right. As of the first of the year. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wait a minute, I had 10% down, but it didn't calculate out that way. Yeah, the first of the year, we had the building at 47.2. 47.2 what? Which was basically the foundation and the basement. And more than, uh, more than that done the first of the year. That was the year before we went there. Right. Okay, so the was, year before all it that was, all be one one was the foundation. That'd be one one twenty one. Yep. Okay. So this is the twenty three card, and. <laughs> No, thank you. That is a pretty tight footprint, isn't it? Yeah, and kind of finger. I guess that makes sense. We're in the house. We kept going upstairs. No, that was the It was kind of like a vacation condo I was in one time, which was fairly small footprint, yeah. but. Your floors, yeah, okay. down on the Cape or on the beach or yeah. Yeah. somewhere. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, it's fine. Yeah. You like the exercise, <laughs> it's all right. As long as your joints hold out, right? Right, <laughs> yes. So, what we're trying to determine now is whether uh, what amount? it's changed enough since January For 1 to be taxable mid year to, to increase the. Evaluation. evaluation it has to it has to be 50 percent 50 percent of completion or has to have no it has to increase, increase in value yeah, increase in value of 50 percent over what was over happening what was, january one what was there january one and i remember when we were in there that it seems as though it's yes. pretty well along yes back on the first yes. of january right <laughs> so it'd have if, if if it was um to use so since numbers. January first, we told me to let them out. Yeah. 
since January 1st, I don't believe we have enough there. Mm -hmm. oh, that was question. Right. Yeah. Before we go to too much after right. whether you think it's just right. up there or not. Right. So just so I can wrap my head around this, if you're using dollar values to yes. determine this. Yes. So if, for example, on January 1, it was valued at $100, mm -hmm. you're saying that on July 1, it would have to be valued at $151 mm -hmm. to be able to increase the valuation and right. tax a wee bit more. Mm -hmm. And this this doesn't include the land. Which just, is the building. just the building. Right. Okay. And your sense at the moment is that it probably didn't increase 50% over what it was on January 1. I, I don't I don't believe so. Just looking at it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know what we had it in for January, but I don't no. know. No, we were there and the fellow was working on the kitchen cabinets. Yes. And the plumbing was, you know, it was the plumbing was, was in, yeah, it was pretty well completed then. I it mean, was. He hasn't. He maybe just put some finishing touches on it. Right. So we'll pick up everything as of January one, which will be a significant this amount from last year. This coming. Yeah. 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 Okay. And then our um. The other one on Shelburne Falls Road, I don't think he hasn't made enough changes to. No, not since January 1. That's it. No. That floor is pretty interesting. It's still working. Oh, uh, yeah. The, and the, the concrete and the polymer. Oh, that, yeah. that road. Yeah, yeah. yeah that Except polymer enhanced concrete. Yeah. 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 And that was fascinating. But. Um, he already had the insulation done. He already had all the roughs in. The windows and everything had been done. So there again, I don't think we get any supplemental there. Oh, you can look at it and see what we had. I, I, right. I don't think so. He's put, he's put fixtures in the bathroom. And he has a kitchen sink, but no cabinet of any kind. He's done the floor and he's done the walls. Yes, hello. Hello, Molly. The, the, for the concrete outside. But, yep. You know. Yep. That's right. And that was concrete under, um, under the deck. Right. Under the deck. Not East side deck. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. So those are up later. Yep. Now we had. Talked earlier uh, over the last several months about getting out to see the other properties that were still listed as being incomplete. And I think that's a good idea. And perhaps we can uh, focus on them first for our site visits. Yeah, I'll see what I can line up for the 27th. Yeah. Just so I can make a note of it. 27? What was number four oh, and number July. five? One of them was Shelburne Falls Road. So there was one was one. Habitat. Okay, Shirk that's Shirk. right. South Deerfield. Right. South Deerfield Road. And um, Shirkshire, the, that house, Rogers and Rice. Shelburne Falls Road, Rosito. Uh, Shelburne Falls Road, Wormser. Okay, two and Shelburne Falls Road. That's how, yeah. that's how I needed it. Okay. Um, yeah. And I'm sorry, this isn't new, it's a uh, uh, renovation, right? It's an on it was built as a workshop, right? Right, I, I know, and that. so it's a conversion to a house, yeah. So, are we saying tentatively we're going to have a site visit session on the 27th of July mm -hmm. sometime, three o'clock? Can you do that, or is well, tenature? Oh, you can have a planning board meeting on the same time. Hmm? But we'll, planning board meeting. No, we'll I'm not worried about the planning board meeting. I'm worried about I have a uh, mass in motion meeting, but that's in the morning. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. Those are good. Um, Do you typically shoot for three o'clock for these? We yes. Yeah, well, it's a common, you know, a compromise between trying to get Russ out too early mm -hmm. that it interferes uh, even more with his work. Well, that's fine. I'm just still trying, trying to, get, to use the light. I'm trying to get 
sensitive terrain. Yeah, yep. we probably do three to six again, something like that. Okay, three o'clock is fine in that Good. particular instance, as it turned out. So. Good. Good. Excellent. Thank it's you. It's just generally I can sort of avoid that time frame mm -hmm. and make other appointments. Mm -hmm. Yep. Terrific. Okay. I think that takes care of site visits. Other business. We have had an application for Chapter 61B status for next year, um, for this fiscal year. That's right. You told because, them that we had it in by August 1st. Yes. Well, in the belief that, yes, by doing a, an across the board adjustment to everybody, that is essentially, in, in effect, a reevaluation. And so it makes in a reevaluation year, you can apply and have it granted within the same year. Um, we brought this in today. Great. Me and his brother both signed it. It appears to be in good order. And it's a piece on Whateley Road, uh, just past all the several houses that were built at once there. Mm -hmm. No, just before them, just before them. Right, it's immediately after Roaring Brook. Okay. Okay, because Roaring Brook is the border for his land, then his land starts. And he has a 200 foot frontage beginning at Roaring Brook, and the land goes up pretty steeply. What are we talking about? Natives. Oh, okay. Yeah. And is essentially a long, narrow, uh, rectangular ish. Six seat. acres. Mm -hmm. This is the first time they've applied. You have to do this every yeah. year, right? No, it's the first time he's applied. Yes, he and his brother owned um, close to 40 acres altogether. But a couple of years ago, they sold off 38. I guess it was 45 they had altogether. They sold off 30 or 38 to um, a trust, he re retaining this. And Jim wants to keep it, and his stated intention is to keep it as is, and hopefully his. How much, how much has he got out for the building? He didn't take anything he didn't out. He didn't take anything out because he doesn't want to ever build them. But I have to yeah, take some he, out for the camp. Oh, on he's it got now. that shack. That's mm -hmm. right. He's got that shack. That's why it's all recreational. There's yes. A, there's a camp so, there. Yeah. So I would have to take out the land under the camp. Which is not very big, plus an access to it. What what is the? I mean, it was five acres. Now is it less than it's, it's, it's six now. It's just six. He has own six. No, 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 no. I yeah, mean, yes, it is. Law. It is, is five. It still five acres. Yes, for sixty one B. Yeah. So I think we'll have to take out something like a quarter acre for the how the camp site plus the a path up to it. I was thinking a half acre. A little more than that. Okay, you were up there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Half acre all told. Yeah, I, I would think you'd have to take a half an acre. Okay. Yeah. And, and the presumption is, if I remember this correctly, um, that it's this the public is able to use this property mm -hmm. uh, for recreational purposes, mm -hmm. it's, it's mm -hmm. not just for his own recreation. That's right. Yeah. No, it doesn't have to be posted. Um, that. You know, the general public is welcome. It doesn't have to be anything like that. But uh, the presumption is that if people are using it appropriately, they won't be stopped. Sure, like in Great Britain, where people are constantly walking. That's right. right. The public footpaths. <laughs> public footpaths are a great example. Okay. Yep. <laughs> so, shall we? Um, I'll get my red pen. To make a change on that to exclude a half acre. Yes. And what uh, the rationale for excluding the half acre? Because we have to exclude any land under buildings. Exclusively for them or because of the building? No, because we have to exclude the stuff underneath the building, the building, building, the building area. So it's the, not because the building is for their exclusive use, but no, rather right. because it's a building. Because it's a building and anything that around it that is maintained is open a yard or anything like that. 
if more people mow their grass around their house. Um, right. Plus the access to it. Right, because it's not forest. It's that's right. It's a dwelling of some sort. Right. So we'll put in five point five. Today's date. Very good. <laughs> Um, for these kinds of applications, do you all normally like walk that land or anything? Or you just usually we know it. They, as it as it happens, they did walk it. Okay. Yeah, so with that's the owner not a standard of this... requirement or anything. No, generally we're more acquainted with the land. Yep, or they come in and tell us about it, and mm -hmm. and we go over it that way. Yeah. I'm not very good at walking land anymore. Yeah, well, I can say these days in this day and age, you can see all this stuff by satellite imagery. Absolutely. Yep. Yep. So move to accept this application based on five and a half acres in Chapter 61B, uh, plus half acre retained as uh, standard taxation. Do I have a second? I'll second that motion. Okay. What are you going to do, Jameis? Huh? Any further? Questions or discussions? No? Come on, Jameis. All right. Are we prepared to vote? All in favor? Molly. Aye. 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 Very good. And now we sign the application. Oh, I know. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Yes, I know. You make me stop sneezing, right? Oh, very good. Thank you. Oh, pause. <laughs> Come on, you two. The trouble twins. This is not playtime, Molly Louise. You. There you go. Are you sign a little, little mine? Don't trip over chairs. You oh. want a full signature? Yes. 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 There is a place for it. I guess there's three lines. I'm trying to read her signature. Yeah, good luck. Yeah, I'm under. Boy. Just a little bit longer, guys. You're being very good. When I signed in the right place. Yep. Pick him. Pick him. You have to like, you no, know, you have to hold it for a few more minutes. <laughs> okay. I know what you want. I'll try and get leaned on up right away on that and get it recorded. So, um, do we have any other other business? Well, that I know about. Okay. Okay, maybe we can get a chance to uh, get together just to be here and go over some of the videos or whatever and um, get those shoots for you. And Sure. Yeah. Yep, that's kind of a learning session. We have to post it. So we have to have a 48 hours notice. Lori was listening yesterday to a new uh, webinar. You're talking more specifically about new software or just- Well, no, just- Tutoring in general. Yes, okay. yes, yeah. Um, and I put in a call to Agramont, but they're not in. I'm gonna try and get them. They're only in on Tuesday and Thursday mornings. So I'm gonna try and catch them tomorrow morning to get some more comments from them on that equality system. But <clears throat> well, sir, when would you like? Well, as I said, I'm, my days are fairly right. Fluid. This is Wednesday. Thursday, Friday, we could do it. Monday or Tuesday. So like next Monday. Tuesday, Tuesday. Yeah, Tuesday is better. For Which me. is? That'd be the 25th. 
No events. It's, uh, no events. <laughs> well, we can get together in the afternoon then. Whatever works for you. Yeah. What did we? What day did we say? Tuesday the twenty fifth. So this would be technically a poker meeting. So it's going to be a yes, work because slash there are two education. Because there are two of us together. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Work slash and education session. Right. Is what it's going to be. Basically, we enjoy the time. time. Um, what time? Um, we can sit down right after lunch and put when we get sick of it. I have to post a time. I know. <laughs> At one o'clock? Fine. Yep. Laurie, would you like to reprise a few of the Minor points from that webinar. No, okay. I, I, I'm. I mean, it was just. It's basic. It was basic open meeting law. I mean, nothing's changed. You just have to be really careful. That more so than we have been. Yeah, more so than you have been. Not to express any ideas, concerns, thoughts about anything to do with what the board is doing or what it might be doing unless it's during a posted meeting so if you bump into each other out in the parking lot of your business you can't talk this business we okay. can say yes there's a meeting on wednesday and that's about it but no deliberation i think is the word right that like yeah that's but it's, right. it's, it's not it's, it's even more than not that. even deliberation you can you know it, it's if even if on a group email say someone says okay I would like to talk about, can we add this to the, to the agenda? I, I think we should talk about this. And if somebody else chimes in and says, oh, I think that's a great idea because of blah, 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 blah. Well, boom, you just violated open meeting law. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it's that simple. If you're at a multi-board meeting and your particular board didn't post for it, which is okay if you don't speak. As soon as you speak, you're violating the law. Anyone can take notes that are private except for the minute taker. Like you could take all the notes you want during a meeting and keep them private. But as soon as somebody looks over and goes, what is that? They're now public record. Mm. So all, I mean, it's just, they're getting very, yeah. Yeah. So um, I, can't, I can't run into either of you at the post office and say, oh, I want to be sure that we remember to talk about this. And one point that I wanted to keep in mind was the you were okay till you said that, right? I can't say that part of it. So it's ridiculous. All of our site visits it, will be posted. It's easier when you have a five member board because mm -hmm. you know you're not a quorum with two. That's true. But the site visits are not subject to the open meeting law. Yes, they are. We if there are two or more to, of us, they do not have to post site visits. No, we wouldn't. But no. if there's two or more of us there, it doesn't matter. That they're, they're ex if they're you excluded. Yeah, that's why you don't discuss no until you get back. I guess if you thought you'd want to deliberate on the site visit, yeah, you, you don't really discuss anything until after you get back. Which is what you've been doing here. I mean, yeah, site visits, according to the law, if I remember correctly, are like information gathering. Yes. yes, expeditions and yes. as such, they're not considered meetings per se that need to be right posted. And when in, in the past, you know, we've occasionally said, right, and I want to write down this particular feature so that we remember that when we're talking right. about this. And that's not a deliberation, but if in in the field you start, we start to say, well. How much do you think the stonework should increase the value of the house? So that right. sort of thing. Then you cross the line. Mm -hmm. yes. But if we're just going and we're taking pictures and we're taking down data yeah. um, and pointing things out, that right. fact gathering mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. that's allowed. Oh yes. Uh, and yeah. outside the open meeting mm -hmm. context. Yeah. yeah, we've never been egregious about anything. Mm -hmm. You know, as far as violating it in no, any no, way. No, but there are no. a couple of things that we need to be tighter about. You know, I, I mean, yeah. every, everybody needs to be tighter when it comes to open meeting law and public records law. Mm -hmm. and, 
conflict of interest law and all those things. Everyone needs to be a little tighter, but right. And the, they have these wonderful webinars about it to help. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah. So I guess my point about the site visits is they don't need to be posted if we are careful about what we say and don't say there. If you post it, it's in a meeting. Because I'm going to guess gets that to come. the yeah. homeowner does not want every Joe Schmo walking around exactly. their property. Right. <laughs> you know? Right. So, okay, they are not posted. No. However, any of our learning sessions or work sessions or anything like that do have to be. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, one other piece of business. Um, attended the finance team meeting on Monday afternoon. And the biggest concern was the timing of getting the tax rate set on time and how it's going along. And Mike and I both reported and Jan reported. And we're doing fine at the moment. And I have got Roy Bishop uh, booked for August 15th. It's a Tuesday, I think, to come for the day and do his thing with the um, utilities the uh, hydro plant, all of that, plus review our re residentials. And he's been very good about helping us work out exactly how much of an across the board increase we need to do. Mm -hmm. So that's good if um, you might want to put that down because I think you could learn a lot from him. Get a time in place. He'll be here at probably 9.30 in the morning. Does that have to be a posted meeting or not? Uh, both of us are here. I would say probably. Probably safer to post it than not. And it would be considered a work session. You're working yes, with an that's outside right. it's a work session. That's on right. things that affect the value of Absolutely. our homes. Yes. So what day is it again? It's Tuesday the 15th. He gets here usually at 930. August 15th? Yep, okay. August 15th. Yeah, August 15th. August 15th. That doesn't sound right. Well, it doesn't sound right. It doesn't sound right for me. I don't know. What, oh, the 9.30 in the away. morning or the posting it? No. August 13th seems always something going on. Yeah. Yeah. Um, are we saying we're going to post his presence here as a meeting? It would be posted as a work session because that's exactly what it is. Yes. It, it is a work session. Yeah. He's, he is working with Lee and mm -hmm. or you and or uh -huh. Ross on the values of our properties. Okay. Yep. And as far as recommend his recommendations, we receive his recommendations and bring them to the next meeting. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's not going to be a recorded meeting. It's just a work right. session. Yeah. And um, so is it the kind of thing that I should plan to be here for several hours while I was here? Yes, if you want to. And, and how? No, you can leave anytime you want. Well, that's my question. I guess how how ineffective would it be if I came for part of it and then left? It's the kind of thing where there's a whole process and you want to stay for the whole thing? No, it's in pieces. Uh, I don't know what he'll want to do first. He'll probably want to get rid of, get the uh, industrial commercial. But theoretically, if I stayed the whole time he was here, which is what, it's going to be like 9.30 to? Well, 3.30, 4 o'clock. Yeah, you'd learn a lot. Mm. That's what I mean, until my head explodes. Yes, exactly. Yeah. 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 I should pack a lunch and prepare for my head to explode. <laughs> okay. And I should plan a personal day because I'm not going to be able to focus on anything. That's true. All That's true. All right. Yep. There's no way I'm going to be able to focus. No. <laughs> no. Because we're discussing continually and questions and answers. And yeah, and I haven't broke down and bought dividers yet. I, I keep thinking about getting, you know, the soundproof cubicle walls to put along oh, there. Yeah. So we don't do that to each other. Mm -hmm. But I haven't done it yet. All right. So the 15th, I'll just block that day out and hopefully nothing else urgent happens. That right. Okay. Right. And that way we'll be close to having our final values. Uh, with his recommendations, we'll finalize the values. I hope that week and be able to start submitting them to the state before Labor Day, so that we have our final classification hearing with the select board about the middle of September. And in our case, the classification hearing is largely a formality, right? It is, yes. But we have to present information to them, and they decide on whether or not there'll be a multiple tax rate. Mm -hmm. uh, that's their decision to make. And but we have to present certain information to them. And it's usually a good question and answer session as well. 
and um, the state then usually approves us within two days or so mm. of submitting it after that's been done. So that way, Jan will have the last 10 days of September to do the get the bills prepared and out on time. Okay. That's what we're that's what we're working back from. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mailing date latest October 1st. She loves to be a few days ahead of that if possible. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So here we are. Any other business? None that I know of. No. Anybody on the mm -mm. When you have these meetings, the, the public is able to zoom in. It's generally it. considered fair. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. If there's someone there, we invite them. So it's them. a hybrid meeting, I guess you'd call it. <laughs> I think it's only a hybrid meeting if one of the board members is. Isn't there? Right. Yeah. So you're allowing the public to zoom right. in. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Not that it we... happens very often. Right. Since we don't have anyone, we don't need to invite their mm -hmm. comments. Right. So move to adjourn. Second. Any discussion or questions? Aye. Aye. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. 633.